Hello, my name is Lara and this is The No. The leader of the Wagner Group is dead following a plane crash. Keep watching to find out more. Yevgeny Prigozhin's plane plummeted to the ground and exploded yesterday evening, reportedly killing 10 people on board. The Wagner party leader is thought to be among those dead following the crash in the Tver region of Russia. Multiple witnesses have claimed that there were two explosions before the plane fell out of the sky. Russia's investigative committee has launched a criminal case following the incident. Footage shared online shows the Embraer legacy business jet plummeting to the ground and leaving a trail of white smoke behind. Пиздец, это беспилотник. Сбили, бабахнуло в два раза, взорвалось, падает. Ты посмотри, падает. Reacting to the crash, US President Joe Biden told the press he doesn't know what happened, but he's not surprised. I don't know for a fact what happened, but I'm not surprised. Do you think people believe it? You mean not much that happens in Russia, not the time, but I don't know enough to know the answer. I've been working out for the last hour and a half. Reports claim Prigozhin's right-hand man, Dmitry Yutkin, and military commander of the Wagner in Ukraine and Africa were also on board, as well as three crew members. Two months ago, the Wagner leader led a 24-hour coup against Russian President Vladimir Putin's regime. The group briefly seized control of the southern Russian city of Rostov-on-Don before negotiations with the Kremlin ended the mutiny. Afterwards, Prigozhin was offered a move to Belarus and has been keeping a low profile since. His first video address since the mutiny was shared across Telegram on Monday. Wagner supporters have already begun laying floral tributes for Prigozhin, leaving flowers and lighting candles in front of the PMC Wagner Center in St. Petersburg. Thank you for watching The Know. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more daily news updates.